I'm here with Becky today. She'll be demonstrating the moves. All right, let's start it off. We're gonna start with a bent over row to reverse lunge. So she's gonna row up and reverse lunge. The main thing when you're doing this, you're squeezing back those shoulder blades, you're standing up and going back to that reverse lunge and then back up. As you're doing it, you're alternating legs. We are doing three sets of 12 reps today and we're doing super sets. So what that means, after she finishes these 12 reps, we're gonna go right into our next move. Our next move is gonna be a mountain climber to a squat thruster. So with that, she's gonna put the weights down, she's gonna position herself on the mat, and she's gonna go right into these mountain climber squat thrusters. So she's gonna perform a mountain climber, and then she's gonna do a squat thruster, jumping the feet up and back, and then back into that mountain climber. And then to that squat thruster, and we're gonna do 12 of these. Every time you do a mountain climber and a squat thruster is one rep. And then as soon as she's done with that, for her 12 reps, she's gonna go right back into the bent over row to the reverse lunge. And that is how you count that. Super set number two. We have chest flies and hammer curls to a shoulder press. For our chest flies, we're lying down on the ground on a stability ball or on a bench, whatever you have available. The main thing when you're doing this, there's a slight bend in your elbows. You can have your knees bent or straight. The main thing is that lower back is staying down. So if you feel anything in that lower back, you can bend the knees, that will help it. You're gonna breathe out as you bring the weights in above your chest. When she finishes those 12 reps, we're gonna go right into a hammer curl to a shoulder press. So for this one, hammer curls, wrists are facing each other, and you're gonna curl up, and then you're gonna shoulder press straight up, and then back down and down. So this is one movement, that is one rep. Main thing is, is that tailbone is tucked under, abs are engaged, and like so. As Soon as she's finished with those 12 reps, she'd be back down to the chest flies. But we're gonna move on to superset number three. First exercise, our tricep push-ups. These are tough. First, we're gonna show you from the toes what they look like. She's gonna push down, elbows are pinned next to her body. As you can see, they're rubbing against the ribs, down and up. If that's too hard, you can take it down to the knees. Same thing, those elbows are rubbed right next to the body. If this is still too hard, we can do this from a wall, and we'll show you that in a little bit. Next exercise is going to be a bicycle crunch to a lengthen. So you'll just flip over to your back for this one, and you're gonna bicycle up, opposite elbow to knee, and then you're gonna lengthen your body out long, and then you're back to that bicycle, and to the lengthen. Now when you lengthen, that lower back is staying down on the ground. I don't know if you can hear, but she is breathing, and a lot of times people hold their breath when they're doing the abs. So you wanna make sure you keep breathing as you're doing it, as silly as it sounds. Very good. All right, super set number four. Side lunge to a leg balance. For this one, you can use weights, or if you have balance problems, you don't need the weights. We're gonna demonstrate the weights right now. You're gonna perform a side lunge over to one side. That same leg is gonna come back up, and you're gonna be balancing up on one leg. And then you're gonna go right back to that same side, and then standing up for that balance. You'll be doing 12 of these on each leg. So when she finishes her 12 on the left leg, she's gonna to transition to the right side, and she's gonna do her 12 here. The main thing I look for on that side lunge is that hips are back, heel and knee are in alignment, so that knee doesn't go past the toe. Very good. Our superset with this is a staggered stance push-up. So once you finish your 12, you're gonna be back down to the ground. Your push-ups, one hand is slightly in front of the other. And you're gonna be doing six with your right hand in front. And then you'll switch hands, and then you're gonna do six with your left hand in front. If on your toes is too hard, you can always do it from the knees. The main thing, that lower back doesn't sink too much and your abs are engaged. 